I know at least one of my subscribers will like this, and he knows who he is. I want to talk about the BBC. I want to talk about uh, certain suspicious looking activities and giving airtime to people that they may not necessarily should be. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing alright. Let me know how you are in the comments. I'm oh, not too bad, not too bad. Hope you're going to have a good day. And uh, Let me know what you're up to. Well, yes, the BBC. I see so many people now saying, I've cancelled my TV licence. I don't want a TV licence. And they turn to streaming and they don't watch live broadcasts and all the rest of it. And there's a guy that's subscribed to this channel uh, who actively tries to promote the idea we don't need a TV license and looking at some of the stuff that comes out about the BBC I I very much suspected their uh, bias be it politically or otherwise for a long time they're supposed to be neutral and sometimes you you see them uh, leaning in one particular direction uh, you see the way I'm leaning and you wonder what it's all about. I mean, I mean, the job of the media, in my view, the traditional old school media, was to report the truth and the fact. And I just feel like, certainly over the last several years with the BBC, they, they've tried to influence us rather than just report fact. Uh, I mean, a couple of the controversies that have come up recently, uh, you've got Shemima Begum being uh, granted a podcast. Really? With the with the uh, you know history and track record that girl has, uh, you know, when she left here, she she was obviously a victim uh, of you know being indoctrinated into that way and being you know encouraged to leave the country. What she saw and did while she was overseas is anybody's guess. But now she's an adult and responsible for her own actions. And she's been given a podcast. And no matter what side of the fence you sit on with regard to that, is that the right thing to do? Is that the right, the right uh, spending of licensed payers' money to give, to give her a podcast? I can see it's going to outrage a lot of people, but that's not the discussion. That's a discussion that's already been had. That's, ju that's just an example. And a, another one which has come out recently, this gentleman here, Richard Sharp, he's... Uh, the chairman of the BBC and around the time he took up the position it's emerged that he arranged uh, a guarantor on a loan uh, of up to £800,000 for none other than Boris Johnson who was the Prime Minister at the time this happened in late 2020 so what was all that about? Uh, you know Richard Sharp has actually asked for an investigation into his own appointment to make sure that everything was followed correctly. Well, of course they're going to find it. Uh, everything was followed correctly, I've no doubt of that. Mm. But, you know, it begs the question, why are we paying the licence fee? Uh, they say, you know, with the BBC, yeah, there's, it's deeply rooted in trust. We have to trust them. Well, I'm afraid a growing number of us don't, and I'm afraid that I don't think we ever will again, to be honest. It's part of that media package that is long gone. Let me know what you think of the controversies and anything else you might want to mention that I haven't. And let me know what you think about the BBC as a whole. I, I, I wouldn't have it on my telly, uh, let alone anything else. Anyway, I'm off. I'll see you with one more. Toodaloo.